it's going to be wrong. <clears throat> Thing was, I made that title slide, like, maybe about a month or so ago, which was about the time, a little bit after I bought this, but needless to say, I was not feeling well at the time, and I just put it on the shelf until I got around to it. And now I'm getting around to it. Like, it's about, it's about 5 a.m. on a Monday morning, the 25th of March, 2019. Whoop-de-ta. But, yeah. I got this at the City Thrift about a month or so ago. I honestly forget how much I paid for I think it was like $5. I thought it was unique in a way because it is another General Electric. But if you got, but you got to love what they say. The a FM AM digital clock radio with a blue fluorescent display. Because it's blue. It's awesome like that. And unfortunately, that's the price it'll go because... So yeah, not a whole lot of range in the darkness and the light, but whatever. I mean, it looks pretty well built. I mean, yeah. And like I said, the thing says it's a model number 7-4646A. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 4 watts, made in Malaysia. I want to say 1988. Because that's all I can get for right now. Do not open, you will die. And there is a little battery thing. I think there's a battery in it, I don't know. Alright, that's out. Yeah, it's old school. <laughs> it's the old Ever 89. With a tail looking like a lightning bolt. Wonder if there's any information about when this was made or when it expired or what? Well, it says Everett Battery Company, Cleveland, Ohio, made in the USA. So you know it's pretty old. On the other side, warning: Do not mix. Do not recharge. Do not put in backwards. Do not put in fire. May explode, leak, cause personal injury, and you will get killed. Whatever. So yeah, that came with, I mean, the battery's already dead because when I plugged it up, I had to reset the clock. So, you know, I'm rambling. Let's see what's on the dial. Hopkinsville is proud to have many women-owned business. I get it. Them. Now, of course, with it being 5 in the morning, I'm going to get morning talk or morning ha-has or just, I want music, goddammit. And they got some federal law. Have buyer's remorse if it actually did happen. Well, I think it was twofold. It was... Let's try AM. I'm doubting I'm going to get anything there. E. Yeah, about that. Apparently, WQEZ AM 1370 is being broadcast on 89.9, so hey, not a big deal. So we still got music on the AM radio. <laughs> Let's try the alarm. I mean, I'm sure I'm not going to find anything.
Okay. Now we wait. <laughs> that was quick. Eh, could work. Or I could have it displayed because it's quality and unlike today's crap. <laughs> Alright, that's going to do it for this video of this uh, little 1988 General Electric Clock Radio, model 7-4646A. One thing I forgot to mention, it's like, once again, it's like, without having the, without having, like, to, I mean, you have the wake set to set it, but accidentally may hit the time button, and there you go, and then it'll be messed up, and you'll be late for work, or early, depending on how you want to look at it. I mean, just a minor flaw, I mean... You see, I mean, it's alright for what I need it for. And it sounds pretty decent. I mean, I still gotta get rid of that buzzing. Might be the wiring of this house, I don't know. But, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, to next time, wherever it is, I must get thanks for watching. Combox is open. Oh,